My name is Edward Buck. I'm the VP of Services and Support at United Layer, and it's probably the single most critical piece uh, that contributes to the performance of your system. There is no such thing as a storage device that will scale to an unlimited number of users um, or requests or whatever the case may be. And you want to make sure that that SAN is, is correctly sized. Because the SAN is so important, you also want to make sure that it's highly available. And you know, the two most important aspects of that as far as the hardware itself are probably multiple controllers and then also power redundancy. The speed of the interface is definitely uh, important as far as trying to deliver the IOPS that you need. You know, understanding what your IOPS requirements are uh, should drive the selection of the speed of the interface. Um, if, you do, if you do go with a 10 gig interface, we actually recommend that you go with SFP Plus uh, versus RJ45 uh, Copper. Uh, the difference is that uh, there is a higher latency involved with RJ45 and it also is more power hungry than SFP Plus. Uh, and with SFP Plus you actually have a couple of great options. One is fiber, uh, which typically will be multi-mode fiber, and uh, TwinX Copper, which uses SFP ports, uh, but it actually is a copper connection. And what we always recommend is that the storage network should live on its own network. Also, interfaces that are on that storage network should be dedicated as well. So uh, there is a temptation, like when you have especially a 10 gig interface, or you know, or if you think that a 1 gig interface is enough, that you might actually, you know, set up a trunk and put multiple VLANs on that interface so that you can perhaps share that network interface card with your management network, which you know, may only get used a little bit, or your LAN network. Uh, we actually don't recommend that because you want to make sure that the latency uh, of your storage, in, you know, storage uh, envi environment is as low as possible. Uh, we've actually found that the performance benefits and uh, DR flexibility that you gain by actually having a single LUN per VM uh, outweighs many of the you know, management issues that come with uh, aggregating lots of VMs onto a LUN. I think the biggest performance benefit of using some of these best practices is predictable performance. It's knowing that the performance of the underlying hardware is basically going to drive the performance of the system versus having sort of unknown variables that impact performance. Anytime you're troubleshooting performance on a, in any environment, whether it's storage or you know, networking or computing resources, you know, finding that smoking gun, which is causing the performance issue, is very difficult and can be very difficult. And so, you know, what we like to do is get as much visibility into that environment as possible so that you can start trying to find that needle in the haystack, because it is there, uh, it is there to find. 